Now let's come back to this uh, Power BI desktop. Uh, basically, uh, before we go into any of the, the practical uh, things here, I wanted uh, you to uh, download one of the file which is there available. Uh, I have already given the file uh, link, uh, which is this one on GitHub. There is a, a repository complete Power BI. And in that we do have some uh, source files, like there are some Excel files with the data and that data will look like, so we do have some, uh, uh, there is one folder target where we have three years of data. Uh, it's, they are very uh, small uh, files. It doesn't have much data there, but for this inventory is one thing which is there, but this is the bigger file, which is worldwide importers. So there are uh, multiple um, companies data that we are going to uh, use it. Uh, you can see this uh, spread stock item uh, like customer, employee, city, and uh, there are many other things which are there. And these are the things which we are going to use uh, going forward. Uh, so this is the uh, data source for our uh, course where we uh, are going to use this. And based on this, we are going to create our data model. Then we are going to create visualizations on other things. Uh, the, uh, the two points I wanted to clarify, if you are not aware about any of the database uh, things uh, uh, right now, or if you haven't uh, had any experience with the SQL databases or any other databases, then there are two important uh, concepts, which is the dimension tables or fact tables. Uh, so that is one thing which is very much important uh, that we are going to see it practically as well about the star schema and how to use it. When it comes to database design, we should be able to understand what is the dimension. Dimension is nothing but uh, the date, uh, the columns or the fields in the tables, which gives some uh, meaningful uh, information to the other uh, columns. Like uh, these are the figures, like these are the sales data. So when it comes to sales data, like th this kind of figures, these are the fact values. Fact means uh, transactional values. So that kind of things are called as um, fact uh, columns or uh, major. So there are two things uh, just, just to explain you that uh, dimension and major. So sometimes this major is called as fact as well, or sometimes it's called as the transactional. Depending upon the different, different database terminology, these are the things. So dimensions are, uh, it's, it's a, a purely uh, like character columns. Now you can say, not, not only character, but dates as well. So if you say here, you can see this date, month, month number, quarter, year, uh, week number. This is a dimension table because all these columns are dimension and data. So it's just giving some uh, information about uh, the data, which is uh, we wanted to be use, uh, we wanted to use for the transactional uh, field. This is uh, this this is the one table which is there. Now we do have some other uh, table, which is uh, again, have some uh, dimension columns only, and uh, there is a unit price. So this is one thing, which is, again, we can uh, consider as a fact value or transaction value. Apart from that, these all are dimensions. So uh, basically uh, these dimensions gives the detail about the fact tables or detail about the transactional values. This is, these are the, some of the uh, tables which we uh, can say this is again a dimension table. And uh, uh, this is again a dimension table. Uh, you can uh, go through this and you can try to understand this. Uh, so this, yeah, uh, and, all are the dimension because there is no fact value. Yeah, so this is the dimension again. Again, all the dimension. Yeah. So uh, yeah, this is this is not dimension. This is a, a combination. You can say fact table because this is uh, having some key fields. Uh, here um, there are key primary key, foreign key as well, and then there is a, a unit price, tax rate, a total tax, uh, tax amount. Uh, then these are the some of the things which has transactional value. So basically, for one day, how much sale is done. Uh, how much tax is uh, uh, tax is calculated and all those things. So that kind of transactional, you can see uh, what is the profit and all those things. So these kind of things are uh, factable. Uh, so this is how it is uh, generally uh, done means for this factable and dimension. So dimension, you can say character fields or like name, 
uh, name, address, uh, pin code, uh, date, these kind of things are uh, dimension columns or dim dimension fields. And when it comes to measures, so it is a numerical values, uh, not numerical only, but it can be uh, like aggregated numerical means it is um, a sales mm -hmm. data amount. Value to value to dimension also call is a fact. Yeah, yeah. So that is that kind of things are available. So generally, uh, so we will see what kind of a schema design we need. Uh, so there is a one popular uh, schema in the database, which is a star schema. So if you are not aware about the, what is star schema, you can try to search it in Google and try to understand what is star schema. So basically star schema, just to give a, a brief about that. So it will have a fact table and there will be multiple uh, table, a dimension table. Dimension table one, then dimension table two, and uh, there will be another table here, here. So one, two, three, four kind of table and they will all join with this fact table. So uh, we will see means how this can be done uh, means uh, in next videos where I will show you uh, with the practical examples, what are the fact, uh, star schema, how star schema is designed. So that is how uh, we wanted to uh, see. So that, that schema we are going to use and this is a general structure uh, which is mostly used. That's what we are going to uh, see. Uh, now I wanted one more uh, other thing uh, you to do is, um, I wanted you to connect to one of the field. So now if you, if you have Power BI open, uh, you can go through uh, along with me uh, so that it will be helpful for you uh, to uh, understand the flow means how we can connect so now uh, i hope you have downloaded that file uh, data file have you yeah 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 uh, okay. i'm 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 on it okay so you can try to open it uh, that folder uh, that folder basically will have this kind of uh, things which is basically three folders a zip file will be there and once you unzip it then it have targets folder then inventory and uh, worldwide importers yeah yeah all have it okay so now i would like you to open power bi desktop uh, so which is we already installed in the previous session so you can just install uh, open it and you will get uh, this kind of screen means i think miss you can share your screen i will uh, just guide you so that it will be uh, easy for your understanding i can see your screen now you have opened this now just click on this get data option here i think you can just close this pop up here yeah. um, excel power workbook yeah, but don't use that worldwide uh, importers right now. Just go to the targets folder. I think that those are the CSV files. You need to use CSV files. So just click on this uh, inventory. Uh, no, no, not not the not this. Yeah, try to use this. Uh, yeah, 2017 uh, file. I click on open. Now this is a very small file, just having three rows. I just wanted to get the feeling of this now um, uh, when you uh, click on this uh, to them, uh, like um, you have this screen when you click on uh, load don't click di directly uh, when we i'm just uh, telling you this what this uh, this load will do and what this transform data will do so load will directly load your data to power bi uh, directly and it doesn't give any options to process any of the column like if I wanted to rename column, if you wanted to change the data type of the column, then it doesn't allow when we click on this load. Now, when we click on transform data, you can click on this transform data and we will see how to uh, use this uh, query editor. So basically, uh, it, it opens the query editor when we uh, click on that transform data. So you can, okay, yeah. yeah this, this is how it is looks like now you can see sources promoted data uh, promoted headers on this and then other things like uh, so now this is the query editor which which gives so many options so which is available in the home rim, ribbon you can see there are so many uh, options which are there and we are going to see these options uh, step by step in the coming sessions so uh, how to use uh, these columns uh, there are pivoting and pivoting as well of this column uh, there is a transform menu as well so if you can click on this transform menu yeah 
here there are so many options we can rename we can detect data types split columns uh, then extract uh, there are uh, count rows there are so many we can apply some mathematical functions as well uh, there are so many things which we can do and we are going to use this uh, there are add columns view add columns as well uh, is the menu is there which uh, which we can add an additional column here we can do some processing on that as well so that kind of things which we are going to uh, use it mm. now uh, this is what uh, i just wanted to connect uh, to this uh, source now you can close this uh, you can close this query editor uh, you yeah now there is three options uh, close and apply will uh, actually apply our changes and then close apply will just apply changes but don't will not close the query editor and close will not apply any changes but it will just directly close it so when we wanted to save our changes you can select close and apply just click on that close and apply yeah now once we have uh, this close and apply now you can click on that apply changes as well so uh, basically it is creating a connection in model so uh, let's wait to get it open now it is open now you can see once the data uh, query editor is uh, closed uh, right side uh, the, if you just expand that 2017 you see fields option yeah just expand that uh, so whatever the data model which we have created you can see there are two columns which are available now uh, now this is fine miss so we are not going to do it anything here on the left side uh, so the, the this screen is whatever the screen you are seeing here is uh, we can create visuals so now we have connected to uh, the database now you can take any of this um, column uh, visuals any of this uh, visual first uh, let's take uh, yeah, the, the second one i think uh, column chart or uh, yeah, stacked column chart it will be good to see yeah uh, you can bring it to the center uh, don't click on that um, yeah just just uh, drag it in the center that's what means and yeah yeah now now uh, go to these fields click on buying group and uh, drag it in the x-axis here um, uh, not there uh, but but uh, uh, below this visualization there is an option uh not not there not there this visualization this visualizations if you can uh, uh, all these visualizations where you can see right there is a below option x axis y axis add legends uh, small multiplies uh, can you see this where it is? Uh, no no uh, where it is no no here here uh, the buying group and target uh, excluding you are seeing right uh, yeah buying group and target yeah yeah left to that exactly left to that uh, these visuals are there you can see different different visuals are there yeah yeah yeah, yeah below there one. below there uh, you can see values below below values um, not now i actually please first select uh, visual select this uh, column chart on the left no 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 not that not that not. now i what i would say, say uh, click on this chart click on the chart which you added you have added uh, now you can see okay. you can now see x-axis x-axis y-axis legend you can see in the uh, here field right yeah so now uh, drag that buying group on the x-axis yeah now this is just added and now you can okay buying group okay it is got added now on y-axis we need a target group because that is a something which is a fact value now this is how it looks like a uh, first visual we can say now the uh, values you can see it is very uh, small values actually so that's why it is having uh, nine values i think for every every uh, group that's why it is showing but if there are uh, less or more values for each of them then it can be possible to um, have some like good looking looking chart right now it is just a flat because the values are very small if in the data as well if you go to the database uh, in the query editor as well yeah can so, i go to the query editor 
yeah you can go it to here uh, in the transformed not there not there not there uh, there is an option because we already connected right uh, in the home menu only not don't click it uh, there is a transform data uh, yeah go okay. right 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 yeah, okay, yeah. Got it. yeah yeah uh, click on the transform data so i'll find the query editor yeah this is good yeah, this no, I understand that. Yeah, this is how it we can go back to the, our query editor and you can see some of the values, like all of them values are 999. That's why our so chart looks it. like. So no, can we cannot directly, uh, yeah, we can uh, change it. Uh, we can uh, do some mathematical calculations here and uh, we can uh, do it. Uh, let's let's try to do that. Uh, now you, what you can do, um, or you can just add one another column, which we will, uh, create with this right right click on that particular uh, uh, no no add a column add a column uh, the, the menu is there in the menu uh, mm -hmm. uh, menu option file menu uh, home yeah add a column add column yeah. yes yeah now here uh, you can just uh, create a uh, like yeah a column yeah column from examples you can say or custom column click on custom column now here uh, give some name yeah no column value five uh, uh, no no we need to create some formula because it will not give the, but anyway if you give just five uh, it will just show five uh, okay click on that that's fine so this is how it is created. We wanted to have some different values. So we wanted to, uh, let's let's try to do some mathematical calculation. Can you go to this, uh, again, that formula? Click on that formula again. Uh, there is there is a column. No, 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 not, 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 not from there. Create another one? No, not, 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 not. No. There is option which uh, the FX you can see. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. This FX, FX. Can you click on that FX? If you can open, click on that. Or else, or else on this right side. Yeah, click on that FX. Not, not that. Uh, on the left side, uh, on the right side, added custom, right? Yeah. yeah there, there is a star uh, at the right. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. Now here uh, we need to add something which is um, uh, now target excluding max attacks. Uh, okay, I think divide by maybe I'm not sure how we can get uh, different values because we don't have any other uh, column which is having uh, different, different values. So maybe. Uh, max max of max also is not possible. Uh, no, it's fine. I think four by four divided by something. Can you do it? Four divided by maybe ten or something. But uh, this will not work because uh, we don't have anything. This will give all the same results. Um, can you cancel this now? Can you cancel this now? I'll, we'll create some uh, different things here. Can I delete it? Custom column? Yeah, you can delete it. Yeah, if you click on that cross icon, it will get uh, deleted. Now, uh, here, uh, this is how it, uh, we can create. Uh, we can, uh, can you click on this column from example, uh, from uh, all columns, you can see, yeah. Uh, so this is how we can add it. Uh, let's... Uh, the problem is like cancel this uh, what we'll do we will just uh, go to that uh, source file go to the source file one second 
yeah open that uh, in the 2007 just make change that the something yeah change uh, some values yeah now try to save it go to yeah. this uh, query editor uh, transform data yeah transform yeah, yeah. data I'm trying to be used to with it. Yeah, that's what that that that's why I wanted you to uh, um, use it. Uh, you need to refresh it because that's why it is showing uh, like. Uh, you can see right it, the, this red. Uh, what is a red? Uh, yeah, just right. Uh, just click on that. Yeah. Yeah. Right click. No, no, not that, not that. Uh, no, no, no. What is the what is the error receipt is showing? No error showing. Uh, okay, just click on this uh, refresh. There is option yeah, or, yeah. Uh, top uh, not not uh, here. Just um, in the menu. Yeah. Okay. Menu. Yeah. Uh, refresh all. Yeah, yeah. What happened? wasn't found what uh, buying group was not did you change anything in the database can you check no okay okay now how this is hard uh, this has a okay uh oh this is a this is a csv file uh that's why it has been changed uh now i would suggest you make another uh, file uh not another um I'll download it again. Yeah, download it again and just uh, paste it there. It must be there, I think, uh, in the uh, that zip file. Let me see. Where it is gone? Uh, check in your down downloads folder. Oh, well, maybe I after I using it I deleted. Let me see. No, I deleted. I feel. Now do one thing. Do one thing. Uh, go go to the same folder. Not a problem. Just click uh, close this Excel. Close this Excel. Uh, go to the data file folder here uh, in targets. Uh, just yeah, copy 2018. this uh, 2018. Yeah. 2017 you can delete copy that uh, and make it as 2017 copy there only uh, yeah. edit open uh, okay yeah uh, open with notepad plus uh, notepad file actually we will update it uh, i will say just see how it looks uh, right uh, not not that not no. notepad yeah Okay, uh, now it is showing, yeah, this, this file is having 15, 15, 18. Okay, so now just uh, close this. Now just try to it. go to this, yeah, go to the Power BI and just try to refresh all. Now it is showing, right, correctly. Now yeah. uh, you can close and apply here. Now go to uh, the visuals and just try to, uh, refresh it oh okay got it yeah yeah now so now, now you can different. see groups and uh, yeah it is showing uh, yeah different okay so this is how it is so this is the first visual uh, i just wanted to show you how we can connect there are so many other things which you we, we can do it and uh, <clears throat> the next session we will try to make something which is more uh, like we will start with the simple thing first and then we will take it forward adding one by one more uh, visual and uh, there are many other things which we can do that i will uh, show uh okay. do you have any questions or uh, till now uh, not now not now everything is clear till then 
and okay. uh, now now i understand we have to if we have to edit uh, any csv we have to go with the uh, notepad yeah <laughs> notepad yeah, yeah.